I was in Florida and I started spinning, fell on the floor and broke my hip. Uh, the other day I was walking with a friend and I turned my head in an odd way, putting my hat on and all just out of the blue, I'm going like this. I looked up too quickly at a building. Someone said, look at da da da. Boom, there came the snap, there came the dizziness. I grabbed onto the person next to me, I said, hold me. Keeping your balance is not such an easy thing to do. And because, because the, um, if, if you're trying to stand upright and if you sway just a little bit forward or backward, if, you're, if the, your center of mass or the center of your body gets just a few degrees in, in front of your toes, you're, you're in free fall. Or if you, if you sway a little bit backwards, you're in free fall too. So that means that you have a very narrow safety range before you're, you're falling. I really can't do much at night anymore, so I miss a lot of family gatherings or parties I really wanted to go to. Also, I have fallen down in front of my friends, so they know I've got a problem. When I was having attacks, I felt I had no life, um, basically because I couldn't count on myself to go anywhere by myself. I was fearful of driving. I was fearful of living right down here, walking on Michigan Avenue, walking anywhere going in a store, music in the stores, the movies, you, you, your life is so impaired and you just, you can't do anything. Well, when things go wrong with the vestibular system, um, what happens is that the function of the vestibular system, which is to tell you how fast you're rotating or whether you're tilting, goes haywire. And, and when one ear, for example, is damaged and the other one's still working, there's an imbalance between the two ears and you get an illusion as if you're spinning. And so this is called vertigo, this, this uh, illusion or um, that you're turning when you're not turning. And so a, a classic vestibular symptom is someone who has vertigo. Another pattern of, of damage in the vestibular system is when both ears stop working at the same time. And in that case, what people is they don't feel as if they're turning when they should feel they're turning. And so these are people uh, who have bilateral damage or both ears are damaged uh, by bilateral vestibular loss, such as is sometimes due to certain antibiotics. And those people, uh, they, they, they not only don't feel vertigo, but they, they complain that they, they don't feel things when they should. And so they start to tilt over and they just keep going because they don't feel any, they don't know that they're in motion or they turn their head and normally when you turn your head, your eyes counter rotate because of your vestibular system so that you can see when your head's in motion. But people who have no vestibular system, they turn their head and the whole world moves with them, just as if their eyes are painted on their head. And so they're very disturbed. They can only see when their head's still and they can't see when their head's uh, in motion. People don't understand your dizziness. They don't understand your problems. The, the early signs, I think, um, are things that you, you don't recognize. So it'd be great if more um, primary care physicians were trained in those early signs. Often patients with, with dizziness have trouble uh, coming to a diagnosis. And they sometimes see multiple doctors or, or spend years trying to uh, figure out what's wrong with them and wondering why they have poor balance or they're spinning. And, and I think the reason for that is, has to do with really the, the way our, um, our healthcare system deals with dizziness. And the, uh, first you have to realize that there are many different causes of dizziness. And the, uh, uh, um, about 5% of the population gets a vestibular disorder every year, but there is another 15% of the population who gets dizzy from some other problem. For example, the blood pressure might be low or they may have changed their medication and so now they have a medication side effect. So there's so there's a sorting problem with dizziness. And so when people get dizzy, dizzy, they often don't really know which doctor should they see first. And so should they see a, a cardiologist to look into their blood pressure situation? Or should they see another specialist? Should they see an ear specialist? And so often they, they kind of, by random, they end up going to one doctor or the other who might not necessarily have the expertise to figure out uh, sort out among all these different possible causes of dizziness the particular one that's that's affecting them and so i, I it's 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 even more important i think in a situation like this where the
the healthcare system doesn't really have many uh, dizziness specialty clinics, which take care of all kinds of dizziness problems, that, that patients have to read and they have to learn themselves. They have to help themselves and they have to figure out, well, you know, if I only get dizzy when I stand up and I don't get dizzy when I roll over in bed, I probably have a blood pressure problem and it's probably not an inner ear problem or vice versa. If they get dizzy every time they roll over in bed, well, how could that be the blood pressure? Because your blood pressure doesn't change when you roll over in bed. And so, so, that, so usually people, if they learn a little bit more uh, about their condition, they're better able to figure out where in this complicated healthcare uh, uh, delivery environment that we have, where they belong and where they can get uh, the care they need. excited and proud to be a member of the medical board for the Vestibular Disorders Association, which is an organization I've been associated for, with for about two decades right now. This, this is a uh, group that uh, helps educate people about vestibular disorders, and it helps immensely with uh, providing referrals for them to find appropriate physicians or appropriate phys uh, physical therapists who can help them with their, their um, dizziness and imbalance disorders. Uh, Dr. Hain had told me about the Vestibular Disorders Association, VITA, and um, I joined up right away because when you're in such a situation that you don't know what's going to be with your life, you need support. And I found the support there. Uh, they had articles every single month that would always pertain to me. Everything always <laughs> seemed to pertain to me because I seemed to have every symptom that there was I had, and I was having so many frequent attacks and being sick so often that it was just, I looked for it to come all the time to see, okay, what are they going to tell me now? So it's a marvelous organization. I support it. I have given money to it in honor of Dr. Hain. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm just, I'm proud to be a member. I'm proud that it's there and happy that it's there for other people because people with, it's hard to explain to people that your life is different. You're so changed. You know, what are you going to do about it? But here you at least have some place to talk. Other people do have the problem, but you don't have to stop living and that you can do something about it. And I think it's really important.